creepy or cute. Today we'll be delving into the topic of Chatty Cathy. I have my mom's vintage brunette Chatty Cathy from the early 1960s and I have my 1998 Chatty Cathy reproduction by Mattel. As I've discussed in other videos, such as my baby deer Thumbelina, creepy or cute, I said that many people don't think dolls are cute unless they grew up with them. And such is the case with these dolls. I'm sleepy. You guys can hear that Chatty Cathy from 1998 still works. I got her one Christmas and she sold this morning to someone on eBay. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video. That just pushed me to make it now because I won't have her with me shortly. But that's okay. She had a good time with me. She's got these nice velvet flat shoes with three pastel colored yellow, blue, pink flowers on top and she has white underwear and the sound box on her is kind of covered with a fabric material and I would let her say more phrases but I don't want to break her before she goes out to her new owner so she's got the lovely spray of freckles her face paint is intact the only thing about her is that her eyes are a pinkish blue. They're not as blue as they used to be. She's still got um, a pale pink tint, a really pretty pink lip, and her teeth are still in her head really well. And her hair could probably use a brushing, but she's been in her box. It's still shiny. I didn't play with her much because she's heavy. And she's just hard to maneuver. But her head can go side to side and her arms can move up and she can sit as you see here. This vintage one that I got for my mom at a thrift store a few years back because my mom's was destroyed. I think maybe hers melted in the attic. But anyway, this one, her head can't turn. And her face is much squishier. This one's face is a harder vinyl that is not squishy. And this older one, she needs her lips repainted. I'm not very crafty, so I probably won't do that. And her teeth are coming out. I can't seem to get them popped back in. But she has very lovely blue eyes. I love her eyes. They have a lot of depth to them. It's not just a plain blue. There's a mixture of colors in there. And whoever had her and grew up with her must not have played with her much because her hair is still pretty good. And I know I did a video where I restyled her hair. I'll link that in the description below if you want to check that out. See, her hair looks pretty good, especially to be from the early 1960s. And her face paint isn't coming off, so I really don't think someone played with her. And this one on her nose, I think that's just a freckle on the tip. It kind of looks like an indention. But I like this yellow outfit the best. As you see, her speaker is not covered with fabric. And she's wearing the red underwear. She has red suede-like shoes, fuzzy shoes, with one bow that has like a pearl detail on each of them she did not sell so we're keeping her which is cool because she's my favorite of the two that's why the other one is selling i just wish that her limbs were not this yellow weird color but that's just the color her plastic body has changed to but overall she's pretty clean so these dolls came out in 1960 and they were made until 1965. They're known as the first successful talking doll. As you may know, Thomas Edison in the 1890s tried to make 
a talking doll and it didn't do very well. It's like a mini phonograph inside of these dolls. And, you know, this was the first time that a recorded voice was put in a doll and actually, like, worked and took off. So that's pretty cool. Originally, when they were released, they could say 11 phrases, and this vintage brunette one could speak when I bought her for my mom, maybe like five or six years ago, but about a year ago, she quit working, unfortunately, and now her voice box is very scrambled, and you can hear her trying to speak, but it just doesn't quite go through. I love this little comic book pamphlet type thing that came with My Chatty Cathy in 1998 and I think the original had a similar book and certificate. Because Chatty Cathy did so well it made Mattel start producing like a talking Mrs. Beasley doll from the show Family Affair. Oop, she's losing her shoe. <laughs> as well as so they started making like Bugs Bunny and some other of their cartoon characters into stuffed animals that had pull strings and could talk. So Chatty Cathy's pretty revolutionary for starting talking doll and stuffed animal craze. Chatty Cathy even inspired the show Twilight Zone in 1963. They had an episode which is one of my personal favorites called The Living Doll. It features a doll that's very similar to Chatty Cathy, and it's called Talky Tina. It's a really creepy episode, and I recommend you guys checking it out if you haven't already seen it. Later on in Toy Story 4, there's a Gabby Gabby doll that is depicted after these Chatty Cathy dolls. They're still inspiring people to this day. Oh yeah, Chatty Cathy is supposed to be five years old. I always thought because of her bigger belly that's really cute that maybe she was about four, so I was close. I think they have a really sweet, angelic face, but once again, I grew up with them, so I'm biased. But I'm really happy that I grew up with them because I would rather think they look cool than think that they look creepy. But you can understand because of movies like Child's Play, the Chucky movies, that dolls get a bad rap, basically, when they're portrayed as only creepy and not interesting. Keep the conversation going below. Let me know if you had Chatty Cathy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.